Hi guys and happy Easter Monday. Hope you had a wonderful Easter weekend. We are just catching up on some of the orders we received over the long weekend. So join us while we pack. All right, so I will insert some footage of my really bad day last week where I had to purchase a brand new laptop so that you guys can get some context on what I'm about to talk about now. All right guys, if I seem tired, it is because I am exhausted. Um, I wasn't expecting to be starting filming kind of my vlog footage for my channel this week, but today has been absolutely crazy. So yesterday my laptop decided to die after filming and editing my first YouTube video ever. It died completely, um, its display completely shut off. So I had to take it to Apple to get repaired this morning. They advised me it would be kind of two to three weeks until it got repaired. Um, and I just decided maybe it's time for an upgrade because my old laptop I purchased when I was a uni student and not really when I was expecting to be running a business from it. So I was like, you know what? It's probably time for me to upgrade. So then I went to JB Hi-Fi um, at the shopping center. They didn't have stock. So I went to my car to leave and my car battery failed so i needed to call RSEQ, wait for someone to come out and finally someone helped me replace my battery all under warranty thank god and then i had to drive to another shopping center and pick up my new laptop so i really wanted to unbox it with you guys because it's not often that you get something new like this and i thought why not i really went big for my laptop i don't want to say big but i went you know, and got something a little bit better than what I had because obviously it was clearly time for an upgrade. It died after two years. Right, <laughs> time to unbox. All right, I don't know the exact laptop I got, so I might leave that somewhere here so that you guys know what I grabbed. It's a really big purchase for me. I can appreciate a good piece of tech, but I'm not really into like having to upgrade these kind of things. I was hoping my last laptop would last me a little while, but apparently it didn't. All right, time. I'll seal, oh my God, it looks so nice. Holy moly. Wow. Oh my God, I think it's the maybe space gray. I'm not sure, but here she is. I'm gonna open her up. So it might not be the most practical way to do this, but what I do is I look on my phone, I see which is the last order that I haven't fulfilled, and I look what they've ordered, and then I head to my other room and grab exactly what they've ordered. I probably could like bundle it all together and then like do all the orders at once, but I kind of like to sit with one order, focus on it, write a little personalized thank you note, and take the time and make sure that I don't make any mistakes. So the first order is going to California. This one is for Taylor. Um, she ordered a small Poseidon collar, a small Poseidon harness, and the birthday bash bandana. So let's go grab them for her. So I have two rooms. This one being my packing room and this one being my stock room. So she ordered a small and then small Poseidon harness.
strap harnesses are always so hard to pack. They never look super neat, which drives me nuts. Before I go have some lunch, I thought I would unbox something I got in the mail as well. This is from Sunshine Packaging Co. We use um, their mailers. So I ordered some new ones to try, which is just a different design. So I thought I would unbox that with you guys. Oh my god. So these are the mailers that I bought. I am so excited. These are so cute. So, oh my gosh, this is what a mailer looks like. Hello guys, it is Tuesday and it is 6.45 p.m. I have finished my first day back at work. I've cooked dinner. Um, we got Obi de-sexed today. So he's a little bit sad and sore. Um, I had a delivery of a new um, bookshelf that I'm gonna be putting in the office. And I also had a delivery of a gift for our first birthday that's coming up at the end of the month. So I thought I'd show you guys. Obi wanted to say a little hello. I didn't want to pick him up because he is sad and sore. Well, he doesn't look too sad, but he don't look too sad. All right, so the gift is from our small business bestie, Amanda from Peachy's Dreams. She sent us something, I'm so excited. All right, so it's from Sweet, Sweet Cakes by Katie and is the most gorgeous little like flower biscuit bouquet sort of thing so they look like i'll show you some of them they look like this they're little sugar cookies oh they smell amazing so i'm super excited about that thank you so much amanda we sent her like a big cookie cake for her first birthday, her first business birthday, which is also this month as well. Hers has just been. So I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Amanda. On the agenda tonight is I have a personalized tag to make and a personalized bandana to make. I've had some issues with my printer that I had yesterday, which I didn't film, I started to film, and then I got frustrated. So I'm gonna try and do it tonight and I will show you guys, and then I'll do the personalized bandana after. Okay, so I have just packaged up this tag for Nyla. It is just our belly tag and I packaged it up all super cute. So I will pop this in the order for them. So next on the agenda, I'm creating a personalized bandana for a dog named Chase. So I do my personalized bandanas with my Cricut. So I've just measured out the piece of material I need and I'm going to cut it out now. <laughs> After the Cricut has cut the piece of vinyl to stick ready onto the bandana, I just have to weed it, which is my favorite part. So I will do that with you guys so you can get the satisfaction that I get. Basically, you just peel off the excess vinyl like that. And then we go through and we pull out any of the inside letters, which is just the A. And that is the vinyl that I'm gonna stick onto the bandana for little pup Chase. 
All right, Chase's personalized bandana is finished and I'm obsessed with it. We actually only have about six or seven of these Poseidon bandanas left. So if you do want one, please do not hesitate to grab one. Hi guys, happy Wednesday. Just got home from work um, and I have a little business meeting that I can't tell you too much about, but hopefully eventually I can tell you later. So I'm just doing that right now. Hello beautiful people, it is Thursday night on our live stream tonight. I'm super grateful. I love having a bit of a chat with you guys um, and talking a little bit more personally and answering any questions. So thank you so much for anyone who joined in. I did pack a couple orders on live, which is why I don't have anything to pack with you guys now. But I did actually go shopping and buy something for my new laptop. Um, it is a mouse so i bought this cute little pebble mouse um only because i don't want to be editing like videos on my trackpad i feel like that's just going to be super annoying so i feel like you guys are going to be joining me along on a shopping addiction i feel like i buy things for my small business like literally daily if not every couple of days so yeah i thought i would unbox this with you guys because I'm not super into tech as I feel like I've already said and I thought this mouse was like super cutesy rather than like not my style so I thought I'd get like a cute little mouse and then I can get a cute little Harley and me mouse pad so that's what I want to get next so it's just the Logitech Pebble they did have a pink one but I thought that I was so close to getting the pink, but I just, the white called out for me. So, they also had like a purple, yellow, and pink one. That was really cute, but I thought it was a little bit much for me. Oh my God, it's so cute. It's just a tiny little mouse. All right, guys, happy Friday. Um, tonight has honestly been a really hard night in small business world. Um, I thought I wouldn't film anything, but then I thought I will jump on and say something. But basically, a little mini disaster has occurred on a product that we're planning on launching in a little while. So I'm not going to go too much into detail of what that product is and what the issue is. Because I have no clue what's going to result of it. But basically, something that I wanted to happen didn't um so it either needs to be fixed before we can move on have a huge weekend this weekend we actually have two markets we have one on saturday and one on sunday which usually i don't do because obviously i work full time and it's really difficult to commit to two markets in a weekend but there were two opportunities that we just could not pass up so we i'm gonna go to bed early and we will be heading off tomorrow and don't worry i will be bringing the camera with me I am getting ready to go to the market. I'm just sitting down having a bit of a tea before we head off. We are going to vend doggo day. So I will be taking you all along. I'll show you our setup. I will show you how a typical day goes at the market. And then you get to join me tomorrow for another market. <laughs> is Sunday at 5 30 a.m. I'm exhausted. I'm sorry I didn't film any footage yesterday. Um, when I get back from markets I usually take a nap. Um, yesterday was a bit hectic with rain but I'll go through that probably this afternoon. So come with me for another market. Ooh. 